Forget supersonic, we are now looking at hypersonic speed as the Pentagon unveils test results of the Falcon, an aircraft that can travel 13,000 miles an hour, fast enough to carry out military strikes anywhere in the world in less than an hour. Joining us now, Brian Whedon, Secure World Foundation technical advisor and former Air Force Space Command officer. Uh, the tests were carried out some months ago, Brian, but we're just getting our first look at the results. They're trying to develop a vehicle that can travel at immense speeds through the upper atmosphere with high forces and very high heat and to be able to control that vehicle so that it can hit an intended target thousands of miles away. We're looking, at the, the purpose, yeah, we're looking at the launch of the missile that then releases this thing and it basically glides back to Earth with a, a rocket assist at, what, 13,000 miles an hour? Uh, yes, that's right. The, the rocket gives it the initial boost, and then it comes back down and glides through the upper atmosphere using that velocity given by the rocket, and then steers and maneuvers its way to its final target. And the idea is that you use it to hit a target at roughly 13,000 miles an hour. The, the, the impact, the G-forces at impact, obliterate whatever the target is. Absolutely, absolutely. The whole goal is to be able to attack what are called either high value or fleeting targets. Things that are buried deep in enemy territory or are buried deep underground or that are only present for a very short window of time. So you wouldn't necessarily have time to you do a conventional attack with a B-2 flying out of Oklahoma. You could instead launch one of these on very short notice and it could fly and then attack that target. We have a simulation of what Mach 20 looks like, which is the kind of speeds that this thing is achieving. There's a fighter jet in the foreground, and that thing streaking by, that's the uh, Falcon that potentially could cross the country at, uh, at uh, 12 times or 20 times, I guess, the speed of sound. That cross the country in 12 minutes is the number I was thinking about. Lot, and here is actual video of it. This is that little contrail way up in the sky. That's actual video of this thing being tested. They had a few minutes of controlled hypersonic flight, which is something that really hadn't been done before. It's one thing to just glide. It's another thing to actually be able to control that in a stable manner. And that was really the successful part of this demonstration. Well, we'll see if they try it again. Brian Whedon, formerly with the Air Force. Brian, thank you.